Hey there, what's up? So, I thought I would like to make a video on uh, how to delete a file permanently. You might be thinking, why the hell in this world I'd be showing that how to delete a file? It's like everybody knows it. But the thing is that when you delete a file, uh, I'm specifically talking about on Windows operating system when you delete a file the file actually doesn't get deleted a pointer to that file gets deleted and the data of that file still remains in your hard disk that is in your memory so but the, and the computer shows that the memory is free but actually it is not deleted. so what actually happens the new file doesn't replaces the old file but overwrites the old file or, or a part of a old file so the file that you have deleted is still recoverable if someone wants to or partially you can recover the file so that's why i'm making a video to show you that how can you actually delete a file that someone can't recover it easily so I'll be showing you deleting a simple file using just delete option after right clicking and then I will recover the file just to show you that a deleted file can be recovered and then after I will delete a file with the modified uh, trick or some software I'll be using software to delete the file and you will see that the file will be no longer recoverable. So let's get started with that. So let's, let's select all of them. Let's press Shift, Delete, and Enter. So those three files are permanently deleted as per uh, Windows operating system. Now I have this software here which can recover deleted files. So let's run that. So we had two picture files and one mp3 file. So I will be going with all files. In a specific location, let's give the location for better. So I had in this folder test files. So next. Uh, you can check this one, but this will take more time. So I will just click on start. So you can see that uh, the file that I have deleted, the mp3 file is here. The other two files it haven't found. Uh, so I can run a deep scan for that. It will find the file. It will find the file, but but we can see that the file is here. And if we click on that and click on recover option. Choose the same folder or anywhere. I'm going to choose the same folder. Okay. Yes. So you can see that I have just recovered the file that I have deleted. I have permanently deleted and the file is here. So if I run a deep scan, I can also find the picture file that I have also deleted. So just to show you that this thing just to show you that deleting a file with ship delete doesn't work actually. The files are still there and you can find it with simple tools like the Cuba. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'll be using a software called Bleachbit. I'll be uh, giving a link 
to that software in the description it's a free and open source software that you can use for free so I have already installed it so when you right click on a file so you can see there is option shred with glitch bit so this is the option you will get after installing the software there are other softwares too like eraser eraser is a uh, well-known software for deleting files permanently but I believe in glitch bit I prefer this one so let's delete the file so it's showing that it's done so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna run the software again So I've just deleted the music file, so I'm going to the music file. I'll be giving the specific location. Test file. Okay. Next. So let's say enable the deep scan. Let's see if that can find it. Let's say it takes some it's gonna take some time. So guys, as you can see, uh, the deep scan haven't found anything. So basically, it worked. It took almost 15 minutes to scan to complete the scan. And yeah, there's a process uh, how you delete a file permanently from your PC. Thanks for watching.